Hey y'all, hey y'all, we're back with another video. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. How's everybody doing today? This is the second half of my swatch video um, from my package that I got from Bomb Nails. Um, her name is Gabby. Gabby from Bomb Nails. Um, yeah, and Bomb Nails is an understatement. These acrylics were bomb. I didn't get to say everything I wanted to say in my last video, so I'm thankful I have this second video. Um, thank you so much, Gabby. Shout out to Gabby, y'all. Go follow her. Bomb Nails on Instagram and Bomb Nails on YouTube. She's amazing. She does great work, and she has great product. Like I said in my last video, I was so surprised at this product. Not that I thought it wasn't going to be good, um, but I was just so surprised at how good and how quality her products were for a small business. It's hard sometimes for small businesses um, to produce this type of quality product because they have to go through trial and error. Again, with people making um, some of their stuff for them, you know, we can't always make all these by ourselves, especially acrylics. Um, you know, there's a science to everything. So, yeah, sometimes as a small business, you have to go through trial and error to find what's good for you. And um, kudos to her because these were bomb products. I cannot stress that enough. I was wowed. I even had to message her and say, wow, 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 wow. And y'all know you can use my code page nails with one eye 15 for 15% 15 off. Yes, she blessed me with a code y'all. So everything I'm swatching in this video, um, the last video I wanted to solely dedicate to her Valentine's collection that she just came out with because it was so beautiful. I was missing two of the colors. One was the red color and the other one was the one with the little um, hearts in it that I really, really wanted, but it was sold out. Again, her Valentine's Day collection as a whole sold out in less than 24 hours. I didn't even close my eyes and wake up to even get to even look for it. And she, um, so I bought the, uh, most of the colors separately and she blessed me with all these beautiful free products. I think the only product in here that I bought with my own money was Blizzard. Everything else she blessed me with. And I forgot to talk about her cuticle oil in my last video. It smells amazing and it's a really good cuticle oil. Um, I've used a lot of cuticle oils and a lot of cuticle oils, um, are more greasy than they are nutritious for your nail. And hers kind of feels like it, it's nice and seep into the skin it dries like you know what i'm saying it's not like that greasy it doesn't leave that greasy leftover feeling have you ever tried that um young nails if you try young nails they have this weird greasy leftover feeling um on their cuticle oil and some just feel really nutritious and kind of soak into the skin like lotion and that's how i feel hers was very nice um and i just wanted to say thank you again gabby for blessing me with these products you didn't have to do that so you are an amazing soul um nobody is is obligated to to give anybody any type of free um product even even if it is for a review or whatever um but thank you so much girl i appreciate you so much i was so taken aback by my box and everything you gave me she gave me a kalinsky brush cuticle oil she gave me five separate acrylics for myself to review um for my channel she gave me two big bags of nails with 500 tips in them she gave me so much plus her matte coat and her um diamond top coat and y'all on the last video i noticed i was watching it back because i do watch my my videos back before I put them out and I said um oh my god I like jellyfish because if you're looking at her diamond top coat from the video level it kind of looks like the picture on there the the hands holding the bomb with the jewels dripping it kind of looked like a jellyfish y'all so I'm like oh my god it's a jellyfish and then I looked at it when I was using it last night um and i'm like that's not a damn jellyfish that's it's a, literally hands holding a bomb with jewels dripping for duh bomb um bomb nails um but her product is amazing y'all i stand by this product i will be purchasing a lot more from gabby um just amazing amazing product y'all and she is such a sweet soul um i don't know if everybody watches her videos but if you don't go check her out um she is so sweet you can tell she's so sweet even when she talks in her videos so thank you again um gabby for blessing me i'm so appreciative um you know i everybody knows i love to support 
and um especially small businesses i'm a huge believer in supporting small businesses over big corpa any day so yes let's get into these swatches so right now i'm swatching blizzard no not blizzard i'm swatching um coconut i'm swatching coconut and coconut is a milky white y'all now i thought this was a true white um but i didn't know at first until i went to the website um but i kind of figured when i started swatching it it was a milky white now i own a couple milky whites from other brands that are they don't give milky white have you ever owned a white that doesn't give milky white I own Not Polish's Milky White, and it doesn't give Milky White. This gives Milky White. I love this, and I'm glad that I um, decided... No, wait. A Blizzard is the one I bought. I didn't buy this. She sent this to me. Blah, 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 blah. I'm glad she decided to send me this because I love Milky Whites, and I love when Milky Whites give Milky White. So now this is the only white Milky White that I own that actually gives Milky White. So thank you so much, girl, for sending this to me. I really needed this. Um, so yeah, let's get into these swatches. These swatch like butter. I love them. I can't rave enough, y'all, about this product and how surprised I was. I was so surprised in this product, y'all. And I'm not even bullshitting. I am an, a very honest, blunt person. Um, and I will be honest and blunt my whole life. And I'll be honest and blunt regardless of anything. I do not, um, hold my tongue for people and I do not, um, say things just to appease people at all. That's not the type of personality I am. Um, I give my, my review and my honest review and my honest review on these products was they were bomb, 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 bomb. I'm telling y'all, I, when I rewatched my last video for the Valentine's day sweat, the, uh, set, uh, the swatches, ah, sorry, sorry guys, I have many strokes. Um, when I watched my video back for those um, Valentine's Day swatches and the way that French kiss pink, now that's another thing I forgot to say in the video. I own a lot of pinks like that. And what I found with pinks like that, those type of pinks is they're so filled with pigment that they are hard to work with, right? So all of the pinks I have are hard to work with. I kid you not, y'all. And I say this in a couple other of my videos when I'm when I swatch my full pink collection. Um, they are hard to work with because a lot of them are just filled and packed with pigment. So you have to really be delicate working with them. You have to work with them in a certain way. They take forever to dry. But y'all, y'all, listen to what I'm saying to you because this may be the last time I, I repeat this. These pinks were so buttery and so easy to work with it was almost like they were the perfect mixture of pigment because they were very pigmented um the swatches gave what was in the jar um i could swatch some pinks for y'all that you would be like what the heck yes a lot of pigmented colors like that people can't make it, they're hard to make and come out with such a perfect formula like that. These were the only ones that I have ever swatched that did me good. I dragged that French kiss down that nail. Like, I, I have never been able to do that, y'all. I have never been able to do that with an acrylic. And I was so proud of myself. But mostly when um, you're working, it's, it's the product. Good product. Because if y'all, like I said... You could go back to my swatches from a week ago and they did not give that quality swatch like that. That was those were such quality swatches, y'all. The product helps, yo. The product helps because if that was a poopy doopy product, <laughs> poopy doopy, if it was a poopy product, it, I wouldn't have swatched that way. And when I watch that French kiss back and how I dragged that French chef's kiss y'all chef's kiss i couldn't believe it i said whoa 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 what is going on here where did where did that even come from and i even was nervous to swatch these y'all because listen i am a beginner i disclose that in all of my videos i'm a beginner so sometimes when i'm reviewing products i i always mention that because i don't want to um a lot of people look at these review videos for reviews. They want to review on a product before they buy it. And I don't want to ever um, give a, a review that's not that's not good because of my quality of work as a beginner. You get what I'm saying? Like, not all of us beginners can do quality swatches or 
or um, know what we're doing with acrylic to, to make the swatch a quality swatch so people could see the real true um, quality behind acrylic. And that's why I always say, hey, don't go off my swatches um, because I'm a, I'm a beginner. Um, and you can always tell when a, a powder is good um, because it polymerizes good. So in my videos, I try to tell you how to go off of that because we do watch the powder polymerize and all of that. We go through all of that. So try to go based off of that and not so much my swatches because like I, I say, I'm a beginner and I'd hate to give a, a review that's not a true review. So when I got all of these pinks, now my, my, um, my personal experience with pinks and colors of that nature have not been so great right so i was afraid almost i i was gonna do pre-swatches just to make sure because every acrylic's different and sometimes you have to um uh, uh adjust per se to the acrylic that you're swatching or the acrylic that you're using not every acrylic works the same Valentino works different than Elegance and Elegance works different than every everybody's works different and sometimes when you're switching acrylic you have to adjust to what acrylic you're using. I'm not that sophisticated yet as far as my my journey in nails. So I was very nervous. So I said, should I do pre-swatches before so I could get a, a feel of how this acrylic powder works? And then I'm like, no, just do the video. But I was, I was scared because my experience working with pinks of with that type of pigment has never been good. And I would hate to come on a, on a video and do a review of somebody's product and it not be up to par. I turned my, I had my um, heater blasting at me so you know my so my monomer and everything could be warm because you have you everybody knows you have to work in a certain temperature for acrylics to work properly um and i find a lot of the time when i do swatch videos a lot of my acrylics are kind of runny because i it's cold back here so i made sure that everything was good to go to give these um swatches the best chance because she did like i said she went out of her way to give me a code and and send me um, beautiful product. So I wanted everything to go well. And y'all, I didn't pre-swatch. I, I said, just jump into the video. You know what I'm saying? And I did. And it was so, y'all, go watch my swatches. Go watch them. They were so amazing. I was so proud. Um, but mostly the product was so that good. It was that good. And I'm going to rave about it. And I don't care if y'all are sick of hearing me. Um, it was one of the best acrylics that I have ever used so far. And I have used a lot of acrylics. I've used a lot of Kalinsky brushes. I've used a lot of stuff. I That's what I do on my channel. I do nails and I review stuff. And that was these were by far the easiest acrylics and the best acrylics to work with thus far. I've worked with Dynamic. I've worked with Valentino. I've worked with Elegance. I've worked with Not Polish. I've worked with Zulis. I've worked with a, a Nail House. I've worked with Tickled Pink. These were by far far the best that I have ever swatched on my channel thus far. So I, I, I stand by that. Um, back to the swatches. Uh, we swatched Sailor Moon. We swatched Daddy's Girl. These were beautiful. This is the one that I happened to buy. I thought it was beautiful. Now, I didn't know it had iridescent in it. So you're going to see it looks a little flaky, but it it's because it has iridescent flakes in it. Um, I thought it was just like a white shimmer color, but it has these beautiful iridescent flakes in it. Um, it's just a beautiful color. Um, this one is blizzard. Yes, this one is blizzard. Um, and it was just a beautiful um, color altogether, a beautiful acrylic. And I saved the black for last because y'all know, y'all know blacks can be a little melt. Anything with pigment like that um, can, it will change the color of your monomer. So anytime I do swatches, I use, I try to save my glitters and really pigmented colors like blacks and, and reds and things like that for last. Um, so it doesn't change the color of my monomer and change the color of my swatches. So y'all could see these little glitter. Um, it kind of looks yellow in the middle right there, but that's just like a iridescent flake. It does have glitters and iridescent flakes. I love this. It's such a beautiful color for like winter 
or um, any type of like maybe uh, just a winter set in general. We're still in winter. Um, people been popping off with these winter sets. I can't wait till summer. And yeah, I'm gonna just let y'all watch these swatches. And, and again, thank y'all for your support. We hit the 1K. And y'all, I got my video is already recorded for my giveaway video. That is the video I will be doing next. Um, I'm gonna start editing that and doing the voiceover for that tonight. So yeah, by the end of this week, y'all, today's Thursday. So by um, by uh, tomorrow or Saturday, I will have my giveaway video out. And we're gonna be getting ready for this giveaway y'all i'm so excited i hit 1k um y'all know me and portia went live yesterday i love going live with my girl that is my girl y'all and i'm gonna address that in my next video my giveaway video but that's my girl and i think a lot of people think that we don't know each other or she's going live with a random person but no Portia's my girl that's been my girl for a year we have taken the time out we um to build a bond and vibe i talked to portia every single day multiple times a day we're always talking we're always shooting the shit that's my girl so when people th i feel like some people think that she's just going live with a random person because there's been comments like oh you should go live with other people you should go live with the little people she's not going live with a random person y'all she's she's going live with a friend who has become her friend over time now when i first met portia um, if she would ask me to go live, I would have said no. It's a weird thing that people want to go live with somebody they don't know. Um, I have to get to know you and be comfortable with you and vibe with you to sit on a live with y'all. And trust me, I did that recently and it was one of the biggest mistakes that I ever made. Um, I thought I knew somebody and I went live with them and it turned out to be real weird and awkward. Um, so yeah, y'all have to watch who you can't just invite anybody on your channel, y'all. But I'm gonna get more into that um next video as well as page etiquette um because i feel a lot of people don't understand page etiquette um creator etiquette etiquette for just people in general so i'm definitely going to get into that more on my next live um because this live is not for that this live is for bomb nails and how bomb the acrylic is but yeah wait for that video it'll be coming out either tomorrow or saturday once i finish editing and doing all that i'm so excited for my giveaway my giveaway packages are already sealed y'all i'm ahead of the game they're sealed and ready to go they're sealed and ready to go and i can't wait i can't wait I can't wait. I can't wait, y'all. All right, y'all. We're coming up to the end of this video. We're just swatching this black. And look how this black swatches, y'all. Look how it swatches. Blacks and whites are some of the hardest acrylics to make. Um, so, yeah. It's, and, and even purples are hard to make. But, yeah. This acrylic swatched beautiful. It was called Edward Scissored Hands. It swatched beautiful. And I think one of my subscribe, uh, One of my girls bought this uh, last night. Um, shout out to you, Sin. You bought this. Um, she sent me a screenshot of some of the stuff she bought using my code. Um, again, my code is PAGE with one I, P A I G E, nails, N A I L Z, 15 for 15% off at Bomb Nails. And you can. Um, enter her website by her instagram page go follow her on instagram and go follow her on youtube y'all she is bomb she's beautiful she's sweet she's nice i love her um go follow her go show her support support small businesses y'all and i'm telling y'all this acrylic is bomb and i would never steer you all wrong y'all are gonna thank me especially beginners or people who have trouble um swatching acrylics or people who have trouble um handling acrylics these were so easy and buttery y'all everybody always talks about buttery acrylics these are the true definition of buttery and easy to work with and they just made they made me feel confident y'all i've never felt so confident swatching i usually and with my swatches i'm all over the place like some swatches are good some swatches are not so good but these made me these these gave me confidence confidence when i started swatching i was like oh shit what you gotta be kidding me so yeah they gave me constant confidence towards the towards the middle of those swatches i said okay your girl is brand new um i'm not even a beginner no more who who who's a beginner who not me uh-uh anyway y'all have a good day um, wherever y'all at, it's daytime here. It's about to be lunch. I'm actually supposed to be working, but shh, shh, shh. I had to do this voiceover for y'all to get this out because I need to do my giveaway video, y'all. I need to do my giveaway video. So what two of y'all, two of my lucky subs can win. 
I can't wait, y'all. I'm so excited. Thank y'all so much for all the support and love. Thank you for coming back to my channel. And thank all my girls who be up in my videos, me and Portia's lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love y'all. Portia, shout out to you. You know I love you, girl. You're my sister for life. Um... And thank y'all so much for the love and support and, and those who continue to love and support me. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. We got so much more coming up. Giveaways, all kinds of stuff. Swatches, unboxing, everything. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And welcome to all the new people. I see a lot of new people in here. Welcome. I always forget to say that because I just be going. You know, my mouth goes a mile a minute and I just be going. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for being here with me. Gabby, thank you so much for sending me that beautiful product, girl. We're, this is a new relationship here. I'm going to be using so much more of your acrylics. I love you, girl. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Everybody have a great day. Good night, wherever you are. And I'll see y'all on the next one.